Imagine the delicate hum of microchips powering the world's technology, smartphones, electric vehicles, and even AI-driven machines. Now picture a rising storm in the semiconductor sector. China's latest investigation into U.S. subsidies for mature node chips is shaking the very core of the global tech industry. Why is Beijing targeting these subsidies? And what could this mean for the U.S., China, and the rest of the world? Now consider this. Imagine the brakes on your car failing or a ventilator in a hospital stalling. This isn't fiction, but a potential reality if these tensions disrupt global chip supply chains. Could this investigation trigger a domino effect that reshapes the global tech order? In an industry projected to surpass $1 trillion by 2030, even small policy shifts can ripple across economies, industries, and households worldwide. Let's unpack the stakes of this unfolding drama. China's Ministry of Commerce has launched a probe into U.S. subsidies for semiconductor production, particularly focusing on mature node chips, a critical component for industries like automotive manufacturing and healthcare devices. These chips, while less advanced than cutting-edge processors, are indispensable for many global supply chains. The investigation stems from the U.S. Chips and Science Act which allocated $52.7 billion to boost domestic semiconductor production. While the act aims to reduce reliance on overseas supply chains, China argues it creates an uneven playing field. According to Reuters, this probe aligns with Beijing's broader push to safeguard its economic and technological interests amidst escalating trade tensions. Expert analysis from the Semiconductor Industry Association reveals that U.S. subsidies could potentially drive prices lower for American-made chips, disadvantaging foreign competitors. This is not just a trade policy issue, it's a question of global economic equilibrium, said Dr. Lisa Wong, a technology policy expert. She further emphasized that these subsidies might tilt the competitive balance, especially for countries heavily dependent on semiconductor imports. Adding to this, Chinese officials highlight that mature node chips play a foundational role in supporting global industrial and technological ecosystems. Their availability and affordability could be jeopardized if subsidies heavily favor one country. The CHIPS Act was a strategic response to the global chip shortage exacerbated by the COVID-19 pandemic. By 2023, U.S. semiconductor production accounted for only 12% of the global market, a sharp decline from 37% in 1990. The Act aims to reverse this trend by investing in research, development, and manufacturing facilities. However, financial incentives provided under the Act are raising eyebrows. According to Yahoo Finance, subsidies include tax credits covering up to 25% of investment costs. For major players like Intel and TSMC, this translates to billions in savings. Critics argue this could distort market dynamics, leading to trade imbalances and possibly sparking retaliatory measures. These subsidies are not without their supporters. Proponents claim they are vital for strengthening national security. Senator Chuck Schumer remarked, This is about ensuring America's leadership in a critical industry that underpins every aspect of modern life, from defense to health care. Chinese officials, however, perceive these subsidies as part of a broader strategy to stifle China's tech ambitions. The U.S. strategy seems focused on building walls rather than bridges, noted Zhang Wei, an economist with the China Center for International Economic Exchanges. This statement underscores a growing perception that the subsidies are less about innovation and more about geopolitical dominance. Mature node chips, typically built using 28 nanometer or larger processes, may lack the flash of advanced 3 nanometer technology but remain essential. They power everything from cars to home appliances. In 2024 alone, global demand for these chips grew by 15% driven by industries seeking cost-effective solutions. China is the world's largest consumer of semiconductors, importing over $400 billion worth annually. 
A significant portion of these imports consists of mature node chips. Restricting access to affordable supplies could disrupt industries ranging from automotive to telecommunications. Financial data from Bloomberg highlights the stakes. The global mature node chip market was valued at $75 billion in 2024 and is projected to grow by 6% annually through 2028. These chips are not just components. They are economic lifelines for industries worldwide. In the automotive sector, for instance, mature node chips manage critical systems such as powertrains and safety features. A disruption in supply could impact global car production, leading to delays and price hikes. Similarly, healthcare technologies like ventilators and diagnostic machines rely heavily on these chips. Mature node chips are the silent engines of modern industries, said Raj Malhotra, a senior analyst at Tech Insights. This probe is another flashpoint in the ongoing tech rivalry between the two economic giants. China's move follows similar actions, including its export restrictions on gallium and germanium, key materials for semiconductor manufacturing. Trade tensions have already cost both countries billions. According to a report by the Peterson Institute for International Economics, Tariffs and restrictions imposed since 2018 have reduced U.S.-China trade by $135 billion annually. Adding semiconductor subsidies to the mix could escalate these losses. This is not just a bilateral issue, warned Henry Jacobs, a trade analyst at the Brookings Institution. It has ripple effects across Europe, Southeast Asia, and even Africa which are part of these interconnected supply chains. Trade partnerships with countries like South Korea, Japan, and Taiwan might also be strained as they navigate their own semiconductor policies amidst this rivalry. A potential fallout of this investigation could be the fragmentation of global semiconductor supply chains. Countries reliant on Chinese or American technology may face increased costs and delays. For instance, the European Union, which has its own 43 billion euro European Chips Act, is likely watching these developments closely. According to a Financial Times report, EU officials are concerned about being caught in the crossfire of US-China tech disputes. India, another emerging semiconductor player, could also be affected. With its $10 billion chip manufacturing initiative, India hopes to attract global giants like Micron and Foxconn. Any shift in the U.S.-China dynamic could either create opportunities or pose challenges for India's semiconductor ambitions, noted Ankit Shah, an analyst with Bain & Company. Additionally, Southeast Asian nations such as Vietnam and Malaysia, which are critical nodes in the global chip supply chain, may face uncertainty. The region's future depends on a delicate balancing act between these two powers, said Mei Lin, a senior researcher at ASEAN Economic Forum. Predictions vary widely. Some believe the investigation will prompt the U.S. to reconsider its subsidy strategy, while others see it as a prelude to broader Chinese countermeasures. William Lee, a senior advisor at Deloitte, suggested that China might use this investigation as leverage in broader trade negotiations. Beijing's ultimate goal is to ensure that its tech ecosystem remains resilient and competitive, he explained. Others caution against overestimating the immediate impact. While this is a bold move by China, it's unlikely to cause the U.S. to backtrack on its subsidies, said Emily Carter, a professor of international trade at Stanford University. The CHIPS Act is deeply tied to national security concerns. Meanwhile, some experts predict that this dispute could accelerate global investments in semiconductor diversification. Companies in Europe, India, and Southeast Asia are already exploring ways to reduce dependence on either the U.S. or China, creating opportunities for smaller players. For everyday consumers, the stakes are significant. If this dispute escalates, it could lead to higher prices for electronics, cars, and even household appliances. 
In the automotive sector, for example, mature node chips are essential for features like braking systems and battery management. According to a report by McKinsey and Company, a shortage in these chips could add $200 to $500 to the cost of a new vehicle. Similarly, industries relying on IoT devices might face delays or increased costs. Consumers often don't realize how much they rely on these chips until supply disruptions hit, noted Sarah Lee, a supply chain specialist at Gartner. As this investigation unfolds, it's clear that the semiconductor sector remains a critical battleground in U.S.-China relations. Whether this leads to constructive dialogue or further fragmentation is yet to be seen. What's undeniable, however, is the profound impact this dispute could have on global supply chains, industries, and consumers. The stakes are monumental, industries are bracing for disruptions, and consumers could bear the financial burden. As tensions escalate, could this be the beginning of a global semiconductor arms race? Or will it force the world's two largest economies to find common ground? What do you think? Could this investigation push the U.S. and China toward compromise? Or will it deepen the divides? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We're glad you're enjoying this video. Please like and subscribe. Check out another video that is now on your screen.